can't sleep either. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? All the time in the world and neither one of us can sleep. But we live and we die by time. We must not commit the sin of turning our back on time. <laughs> I know. I know. Hey, Wilson, you want to hear a joke? This man gets back into town and goes into his local shoe repair and gives a cobbler a claim check and says, hey, this is gonna sound crazy, but I left a pair of boots here over a year ago for repairs, and I was hoping you hadn't thrown them out yet. Cobbler looks at the ticket and says, oh yeah, we still got these. Come back next week, they should be done by then. That's not funny. Not a funny joke. So I have an idea. Why don't you tell me a joke? Why don't for once you try to make me laugh? Because the thought of me spending the rest of my life in this shop trying to make a goddamn volleyball laugh is insane. <laughs> Wilson? 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 Go oh, there you are. There you are. Oh, God, Wilson. Oh. Okay. Okay. Never again. Never again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know you. I know you. I know you. So, we okay? Okay? Well, Wilson, let's go find some thread. So we have two shoes with a 28 inch circumference, that's 56 inches of white thread plus allowance. I need at least 72 inches of thread, even after I splice all these together, we're going to be short. I know. I know, Wilson, where there's an extra spool of white thread. But I'm not going back up there.
Wilson, here we are. We got plenty of thread. We're at the curved needle stitcher. Let's sew on this midsole. Here we go, Wilson. Hold on. about that, Wilson? So Wilson, we're so close now. All we have to do now is put some glue on this midsole, put some glue on the outsole. We'll wait about 20 minutes and we'll come back and we'll glue them together. <laughs> All right, Wilson. So you know by now that we like to give our glue some setup time, which we've done, and we are ready to glue up the outsole. Um, Wilson, I always like to mark my point where I start with the heel to press down. You don't have to do that, but it just ensures a more proper fit of the sole. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And Wilson, let's go ahead and hammer that sole in place. There you have it. Now, we're going to go to the five and one. We're going to trim off all of the excess. We'll use a knife to cut a little bit of the heavy bits on the heel. And then we're going to hit the finisher and sand these down. I do like to let these uh, dry overnight, Wilson, just to be sure. So the next time uh, we see each other, it's going to be right at the finisher, buddy. Okay. Wilson, we are so close now, buddy. We are so close. So now let's sand out these edges here. Go to the finisher, take care of that right now. Then we're gonna come back. Lastly, we're gonna oil up these boots and we're gonna be done.
good, Wilson. Looking pretty good. Well, Wilson, we're just about done here, bud. So we got the shoe, the sole sanded down. It's ready to go. Got that nice new Vibram 4014 Christie outsole on there. So Wilson, what's the last thing we're gonna do for a work shoe or boot like this? <laughs> That's right, we're gonna oil it. And uh, you're right, we, uh, we don't typically wanna put polish on a boot like this, it's just not important. On a work boot like this, I like to use uh, something like uh, good old fashioned Hubbard's oil. Maybe it's Hubbard's, I've never known. So I'm gonna pour a little of this oil into a tin. I like to just kind of work out of this, kind of dip my fingers in there. Don't use a cloth, Wilson. You're just gonna waste oil. Just be as generous as you can with the oil and I gotta be honest with you, Wilson, this is probably one of my favorite parts of shoe repair. It's just something really therapeutic about oiling and conditioning old boots and leathers. Just something I really, really like to take my time with. Ah, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? We'll just work it in. You can work it into the welt. And I just like to use the heat from my, my hands and my fingers to just kind of help open up the pores in the leather and that way uh, it will uh, absorb more of the oil and you can work it into the stitch lines and work it into the welt, uh, as I said. And then, of course, we're going to... Wilson? Where's Wilson? 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 Well, uh, that's, that's it. I guess that's going to be uh, how you do a, a Red Wings 595 resole. Um, hope I didn't miss my customer. And... As always, don't forget to, to like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Got a 
Gotta probably, gotta probably look into finding a, a new helper.